Now this is a strange one for me being back at Luton. I have been here with City uh, before and more recently than the one I'm going to tell you about. But back in the mid 1980s there was a, an infamous riot involving Millwall fans here who tore up some seats in a stand and threw them on the pitch. And the following season as a result of that the, the incumbent government and David Evans who was the chairman embraced it fully he banned away fans and you had to be a member to get into a game down here at Luton now I managed it and it's a long story and if you ever see me do a talk somewhere about my uh, career then you'll hear the story in full but the bottom line is that I got in by the use of a press ticket from a small radio station I had some connection to and that was the press entrance back there um, still here today I remember getting my ticket going in there I'd never done any work as a press journalist before that but that day I did get in and uh, you could say and I think I believe that that was the start of a career that led me to 25 years at the BBC commentating on City on the great moments like the Aguero moment which uh, I'm so proud to have done and the great career that I've had and now I'm still continuing on as a YouTuber and a podcaster but you could say it all started here at Kenilworth Road and it's not really changed much since then this is the same entrance. It wasn't raining, I don't think, that day. And if memory serves, David White made his debut that day as well. So a long, long time ago, a lifetime that I've really enjoyed as a City fan and as a journalist. Uh, can't, can't have asked for anything more, really. So a little reminder of what the past used to be. Now, because it's raining, I'm going to head indoors and see if I can find some City fans locally. I think they may be a Luton fan or two to tell us their stories about how significant this fixture is. Never know who you're going to meet, do you? Um, well, some sort of not so good memories of um, obviously getting relegated. Um, even though living in Australia, it sort of still sits home after so many years ago of um, of the dark times with City that we've all been through. But um, you know, moving forward now, this we're Kenilworth Road. Um, it, not been here for a long time, and um, I'm looking forward to, um, to to the game. Should be great. You could say today is going to be a bit of an old school because it's it's unreserved seating. It's behind the goal. It's only a small number of people. It's been hard to get tickets for this one. Does it? Does that make it special, or do you prefer the modern stadiums these days? I like a bit of both. I do like um, like everybody says. You know, main row with the terracing and everything else. Um, I'm from that era that um, I do like the old school, but I can see moving forward the seating and everything else is, is so much better for families and um, you know that's the way forward. But I'm really looking forward to today, like I say, to an old school stadium um, and really, you know, hopefully a good result after the last few games. Never a fixture reminded us of where we've come from. This is the one, isn't it? It certainly is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, no, fingers crossed and, you know, um, I'm hoping for a 3-0 result today and get us back on track. Um, yeah, we'll wait and see. Like memory lane, um, long time since we played him. Uh, still, that David Plate uh, incident stands in, you know, lump in the throat. So, hopefully, today's a little bit of revenge. We've had a poor run of form um, in recent games. I think the game yesterday, uh, Arsenal losing, has obviously worked in our favour. Now, the job is to catch the Scousers. So, what better way to do it than uh, beat Luton down at Kenilworth Road? Uh, just past the ground on the way in in the car. Is it? You look at it and you think, well, what a poor ground. It's probably the worst one in the Premier League uh, Premier League history. It's pretty grim um, stadium. It doesn't look that much different than the last time we, uh, we came here. So hopefully we'll have a good day at the office this time and uh, put a few goals past them and get rebuild the confidence in the team and uh, hopefully set us up nicely for a trip to Serbia and then off to Saudi as well. So we've got a busy couple of weeks uh, coming up. Plenty of blues hopefully will be at both games. So yeah, it'll be good fun. Are you pleased that Luton are up here? Because we know how we how lucky we are as City fans as what's happened to us. 
you look at Luton, I've just been speaking to a, an older Luton fan who says he's really lucky that they're at least having a year in the top flight. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think a lot of the clubs that have formerly been uh, up in what the old first division or higher have fallen by the wayside and it's nice to see teams like that come back. Well, it seems like Ipswich that have not been up for quite a while. I'm really hoping that they uh, progress and actually get back to the Premier League. I think it's been proved this year that it's either like the, the three teams that came down last year will probably end up being the teams that go down and that shows how tough it is in the Premier League. So best of luck to the Luton guys. Enjoy the day, enjoy the season. If you survive um, next season, it's probably going to be even tougher. So uh, yeah, whether they stay in the Premier League remains to be seen. But uh, yeah, I hope you have a good day. You're a Luton fan uh, and you're old enough to have remembered when Luton Town had a plastic pitch yeah. and when there was that infamous riot between Millwall fans who were here and Luton fans yeah. that resulted in the ban for the away fans. Yeah. What, what do you remember of that time? Well, the build-up to it, I can remember, was that um, it was well known what was going to happen. But there wasn't enough policing in play. Because they, had, if you remember the old Luton town, well, still the state, they had the spine cop there. And next to it, where it is now, they've got some seats. Well, they climbed, climbed over from the spine cop into the seats and started ripping them up, throwing them everywhere. Which must have been up. terrifying. It was very terrifying, yeah. But luckily, I was on the opposite side where this new stand is now. I was there, more or less on the halfway line. As a result of that, David Evans, who was the chair, your chairman at the time, yeah, yeah. introduced banning away fans. That's right. I got in as it happened, yeah. but most fans... What was it like watching games when there were no away fans? Not very good, actually. It's better you with know, away fans, isn't it? Of course it? it is, yeah. You know, yeah. Because in them days, you know, we let a lot more in uh, than now. Because he used to fill all the spying cars. And it's a great atmosphere. Great atmosphere. Well, thank goodness it's going to be good back again there. today. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully we beat you today. What's your feeling? I mean, do you come into a game like this, and I don't mean it flippantly, but do you come thinking, I'm just here to watch the, the big team, the away team, what happens, happens, or do you really think we can win this? Well, I come in thinking, you never know, there's always a strange results. But I look at it now, we spend good money, we've got to the top division, and if I see a very good game, I think I've been well entertained. That's what it's all about to me now. Because we'll never be a big club in that division. Because, you know, we've only got a small ground. And we've no rich person at the top to spend loads of money. Well, all I can say is they're the best team on the day win. As long as the home team. <laughs> And this, as if you didn't know already, is the infamous where you go through a house to get into the away end stand. I'm uh, pretty sure that the old Highbury used to have something a bit like that, and uh, maybe Portsmouth back in the day. This must be the last one, or one of the last ones anyway, and certainly the only one in the Premier League where you basically seems like you're going to go through somebody's front room to get into the ground. But that's uh, that's Luton, and that, that's the modern. I'm, I'm really pleased that a club like this can still aspire to be. I don't mean that in a patronising way or anything like that. But it's nice that clubs like this can aspire uh, to get into this situation. Let's not forget that City in the old days were not as successful as they are now. They've been very lucky with the the new owner that's come in and helped to finance the great success that the club have had. But we never forget where we've come from and playing against Luton. So it's a great game to be at today. It's a reminder of the old times, I think. So let's get in, let's get out of the rain, see what's going on. How long is it since you've been through an old-fashioned turnstile like that? Long, long time, long, long time. <laughs> it's good to be back. <laughs> City fans got banned like me. You got in. We, we managed to get in, and it was a real, it was a real tricky story. We got down. It is a bit hazy. Memories going and all the rest of it. But we came down. I think three of us came down. We'd, we'd applied for membership beforehand. Somehow we'd been banned. Uh, the chairman at the time had, had banned the away fans. 
and we were trying all the different ways to get in uh, and we were struggling we were down on our luck a little bit and we had a pint beforehand and Ian Dowie was in the was in the boozer and um, we explained we went over to Dowie and said look you know this is our situation what chances we went leave it with me a second lads so anyway come back player tickets sorted out three tickets and to this day I've always looked out for Ian Dowie you know real top gentleman had a pint with us sorted us out didn't agree with the policies of the chairman at the time and Hats off to uh, Ian Dowie, he got us in and you know, we were three of a handful of blues that were in at that time, so at least four of us were in that day. Absolutely. What do you think of coming back here then? Yeah, well, it's bringing it all back. It's bringing it all, you know, as I was saying before, it's a bit of a hazy memory. Uh, I do remember being here when Steve Redmond scored. He, he slipped as he hit a penalty and it went in and the whole stand went up, so I think that must have been the FA Cup or something. But yeah, it's bringing it all back. It was in this stand. It doesn't look like it's changed too much. Um, yeah, so yeah, fancy it today. Hopefully, we'll go ahead and do it. Distinctly average, they need to get themselves sorted out and actually step to it a little bit. Stop stepping off the ball all the time. They're waiting for it. They're just waiting for it. And you come here today as I did, expecting a bit of a reaction from City. To be honest, I wasn't really sure because they were that abject in midweek at Villa. I thought they could get the same again today because I don't think they're really getting it. They feel like they're on a lap of honour at the moment, City, after last year, and they just need to step up to it and get it back to basics and get stuck in. I think that'll happen in the second half. We'll see what we're... <laughs> The hardest fought winning the season by an absolute mile. I thought we were going to blow it, but we did. It might prove pivotal. Upwards and onwards. Hey, onwards and upwards. Yeah, onwards and upwards. Anyway, up to next week. Let's go and beat them at home now. We were crap first down, but we got the result that we needed. Coming here, getting an ad. After we already performed against Arsenal, good result for the last. What's the difference in the set now, then? I don't even know. I just got the arse then scoring. Yeah. That goal scoring. That goal was goal, goal, goal before our time. It was a kick up the arse we needed to win. But thank you, Cheesy. Thanks for everything you do, mate. Enjoy yourself. First half, they're a bit slow. The oh, hard kick. I don't know what's wrong with them in the first half. They seem to start slow. But in the second half, Pep must have kicked them up the, um, you know what, excellent. Was it a tactical change? Or? Uh, possibly. Nunes for Kovacic. Nunes for Kovacic. I just think they, they just look lethargic in the, in the, at the beginning. They just need to, I don't know, they just need to start that way and carry on. But I don't know what it is this year. There's something... And towards. Well, so, they won. That's the main thing. They won. That's the main thing. But we've got to stop letting goals in. When they went one 0 up, I just wanted the ground to open up so I could hide in it. Start thinking about Villa and everything else. The points we dropped, and then the second half, they're a different team. They come out. They went at him. I'll be honest with you, Ian. I don't know what's going on with City at the moment. We just can't. We're not gelling. But when we do like that, I mean, Greeley's come on, man. He pulled his socks off straight in there. But at the end of the day, we should leave it like that. We should be no Harlan today. Alvarez worked his track, you know, worked his socks off. Forward. They all worked the socks off, but they were just defending on, on the counter. One corner, injury time, first half. Oh, back to school stuff. That back holes pick him up. You know what? And United got beat, that's what matters. Hey, hey. You know, and that's what we want. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Edison played so well tonight. Honestly, it was great. Yeah. It was a tough one in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It made a really good comeback. To be fair, Cheesy, it was, it was a tough game. That scrap, two of the scrappiest goals I think we've ever scored. But after Villa midweek, my God, I think what I thought we were shocking. So after that performance, you and me, cheesy. Merry Christmas. I'll take that all day long, fella. Hey, tough team to beat. It's like an old-fashioned ground going back in time. Me and you have been at Campbell for plenty of times before in the past. But 
Like I said, it was great getting today. We up with the atmosphere, everyone close to the ground, very old fashioned ground, you know, more like, like 70s type, it's that, that sort of thing. But that's that it's brought the best out of people today, especially City winning and everyone sing, sing, singing, you know, singing joyfully and things like that. So, City win at Luton, despite having to go through the house, it was worth putting your house on that City would win that game. Uh, thanks very much to uh, wateringoffencelawyers.com, to Eminem Artwork and Mirrors, and to Timson for supporting the work that I do. Very much appreciated. I'll be over in uh, Belgrade, of course, in midweek, travelling over for what is effectively a dead rubber, but still. I'll be there meeting people, giving you a little bit of an experience of the whole journey. And tonight, or in fact tomorrow night, I'll be recording my audio podcast, so check that out as well. But uh, it's like going back in time, coming down here, and uh, the time seemed to reverse round. The city had to come from behind to win again. It's great being a blue, isn't it?